Okay, so question two, solve this differential equation. I think this is going to be where you use the characteristic polynomial, is how it's called? No, the auxiliary polynomial. So we're going to look at the auxiliary polynomial L to the 4 minus 3 lambda squared minus 4 lambda to the 0, which is just 1. We're going to want to factorize that. Um, it's a quarter, it gets to the 4, but really you can think of it as to the 2 because it's like lambda squared, squared lambda, so it's going to be like what? Um, lambda squared, lambda squared. So we've got to have 4, minus 4, and minus 3. So if we have minus 4 here, plus 1 there, we're going to get a minus 4, we're also going to get minus 4 lambda squared. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So then that will mean that the solutions... Oh, now we need to factorize each of those, yes. Okay, so lambda squared minus 4, how does that factorize? That's lambda minus 2 lambda plus 2, lambda squared plus 1, how does that factorize? It's, you only have imaginary solutions to that. It can be, right, I'll be, lambda is the square root of minus 1, right? So lambda plus i, lambda minus i. Because you do i times minus i, you get minus i squared, right, plus 1, yes. Okay, then that'll mean that the solutions will be what? A linear combination of e to the oh um e to the two t and e to the minus two t. And also sine t and cos t. Let me just check those. So e to the 2t, differentiate e to the 2t four times. That means you bring the 2 down four times. So you have like 2 to the 4, which is 16. So you have 16 e to the 2t minus 3 times 8, which is. 24e to the 2t minus 4e to the 2t, yes, that's 0. Um, the minus, use a minus instead, doesn't change, doesn't change the sign of the first thing, it doesn't change the sign. As you bring it down four times, you bring it down four times, doesn't change the sign. You don't bring it down. Yeah, so it's exactly the same. And then sine t. Differentiate sine t four times, and you just get sine t again. Differentiate it twice, and you get minus cos... No, you get minus sine t. So we have plus sine t. And then we have minus four sine t. Yes, that works. And then cos t will be similar, right? You have... Differentiate it four times, you get cos t. Minus three times, then minus cos t. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so these are the four solutions. And there's four of them as we'd expect. Okay, so let's just put that neatly. Okay, so we are. Uh, so the auxiliary polynomial of this equation, which is differential equation, is y, y differentiated four times minus three times y differentiated twice plus four times y equals zero. That's right. Oh, it's minus four. So the auxiliary polynomial of this is um, lambda to the four minus three lambda squared minus four, which equals lambda squared minus 4 times lambda squared lambda squared plus 1 which equals lambda minus 2 
lambda plus 2, lambda minus i, lambda plus i. So y is a times e to the 2t plus b times e to the minus 2t plus c times sine t plus d times cos t.